What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Big Rick Becca. Sorry I took a little little break for the holidays, but we are back. We are back and better than ever. <laughs> Uh, today we are getting loaded with I don't know what, but it's getting loaded on my trailer right now. It looks like it's wrapped in saran wrap, some metal thingamajigs, and it has to be tarped. Looks like some four-foot tarps we're going to be throwing on there today. We are in Midland, PA. This load is going to Fort Smith, Arkansas. Uh, it, it's been a little little hectic since I got here. They The guy forgot to take my empty weight. Forgot to take my empty weight. Man, I was messed up. I just messed up with my speech right there. He forgot to take my empty weight, and I had the, this yard is kind of hard to get around, uh, so I had to go all the way back around the building and weigh in. I weighed in on the out, actually, and then I had to go in, like, backwards. It was kind of weird, kind of awkward, but uh, <clears throat> we're here. We're getting loaded. I'll show y'all what the load is looking like after I get loaded. Show y'all the goody goodies, and then uh, get to tarping. And people always ask me, I see comments under my videos uh, about my nails, how I keep my nails, how I don't break them while I'm trucking. I actually broke them. I broke two, this one and this one, <laughs> not flicking y'all off, but these are, I broke these two nails and surprisingly they weren't on my truck. It was when I was actually on break for the holidays. It was just kind of funny actually because everybody's like always comments like, how do you keep your nails? How do you not break them on the truck? Um, they just, I'm just careful with them, I guess. I tarp, I strap with them. I've never broke one on my truck actually. I only ever break them when I'm at home. Oh. Yeah. Got, you can have some rear pump your tires. Okay, I'll go look. Gotta go check my load. All right, we're all loaded now. Uh, the guy just told me to pull down here, down this hill and move off to the right side so I'm out of everybody's way and I can strap and tarp there. Uh, and then I, then he wants me to go scale out. I was like, okay, uh, can I just strap and then scale and then tarp afterwards? I don't, that's like a disaster waiting to happen. Cause then if you're overweight, then you got on tarp. <laughs> oh God. I had to do that one time. I was overweight in one of my previous videos. I had to untarp it and retarp it, get some pallets taken off. But oh well, I guess I'm. They're strict on the tarping here, so that's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull off like right here. Hopefully, I'm not in the way here, but. No parking between buildings. Well, this is what I was told to do, so. This is the material right here that we're hauling today. Roasted mullabinum concentrate. <laughs> Product of Mexico. This is what we're hauling. <clears throat> gonna strap this baby up real quick real quick get her tarps head on down the road hopefully we're not overweight cross them fingers pray for me pray for me <laughs> oh shit man it's getting cold out here I threw my straps got two more to put in the wenches real quick then I can pull my purple tarps out. Shout out Double C Canvas. Y'all need some custom tarps, good tarps, any type of tarps, any type of trucking equipment, hit up Double C Canvas. Roy is your guy. He is the contact. <laughs> if you need a headache rack also, he's got headache racks on deck. Mine is really dirty right now. It's not all polished or anything, so don't take mine for a, a model. But, uh, all right, let's get to work.
the finished product. We are done tarping. Oh shoot, my GoPro's on one. All right, y'all, we stopped in Effingham, Illinois last night. One of my favorite stops, as you guys already know. Woke up, got my Dunkin' D's. <laughs> I got a glazed chocolate donut in here. Sorry, my truck is kind of still a mess. I haven't got everything situated since I've been off uh, for the holidays. Uh, so we are, it was like a 14 hour drive. We are halfway there. I drove three hours deadhead to get to my pickup in Ohio. So we are seven hours, 23 minutes away, 519 miles to Fort Smith, Arkansas. I'll be delivering tomorrow because their cutoff is 2.30 today and it is 10 right now. So obviously I will not make that. Um, <laughs> but uh, I just uh, woke up, got my breakfast, feeding the doggies. They're eating their breakfast and their water. Huh, you guys eating your breakfast and your water? We'll give you guys a little update down on the road. Look at this guy, he's gonna block me in. No. Uh, but we're gonna get on down the road. I wanted to give y'all a little update cause my GoPro died at the last time I was videotaping, so. Um, I just wanted to give y'all a little update because my GoPro died the last time I turned my camera on. It died like a second after and that was at my pickup. <laughs> I was trying to show y'all my tarp job, my sexy tarp job. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get on down the road, smash these 500 miles, get her done, baby. Arkansas parked in front of the shop right here because I'm gonna ask them to fix something on my trailer in the morning um, but this load I got is delivering in Fort Smith in the morning so for now I'm gonna go home for tonight and then uh, I'll hit you guys back up in the morning deliver this load huh Ziki hopefully it's it's as good as the guy who unloaded us in Arkansas the first time hopefully he's on X Games mode <laughs> we can get her done huh huh Benji got shaved naked. He looks like a little naked mole rat. Huh, Benji? Huh, he look like a naked mole rat? <laughs> All right, y'all, so we just got to the shop. They, I made it here and I got a call from my boss, Jason, at the same time. Apparently the shop guys here cannot fix my truck. So uh, they're saying that it has to do with the truck, it's not the trailer. So I have to take it to MHC. So that's what I'm going to do. But unfortunately this might mean that I'm going to miss my pickup for my next load for my run for the weekend. So I might not be rolling this weekend, which means loss of money, losing out on money. So this load that I have right now, it's a tarp load and it's supposed to be delivering in Fort Smith. Like, it's like 25 minutes away from our yard. And then uh, I was supposed to drive an hour to Clarksville, something like that, Clarksdale, Clarksville, Arkansas, to pick up some stone, which I believe I've been there before to pick up stone. But I don't think I'll make it because their cutoff is 1 p.m. And these MHC guys uh, take their lovely time, so. We'll see, we'll see what goes on. <clears throat> All right, so I've been here for maybe two minutes. The dude comes out. He's already trying to send me off really fast. He was trying to tell me that I have to flip this overfill switch. I have to have this on all the time because with the newer trucks, they make stuff go on with the ABS light, which I've came for that reason before um, because my ABS light was coming on, not with this trailer, with a flatbed trailer. And I had to flip this up to fix it, but this is not that trailer. So I've never had a problem with my lights with this trailer before. So he was trying to tell me, oh yeah, you just flip the overfill switch and your light should work. And then he was like, okay, see you, like, have a good day. 
and so i get out of my truck i put so what's happening guys i put my right blinker on and my hazards come on my right blinker doesn't work so then i put my right blinker on after he's like okay have a good day like you can circle around the building and i get out and i put my blinker on and i go back there and my trailer lights aren't working now my right blinker turns on on my truck but my trailer lights don't work so this dude was just trying to send me on my way <laughs> like okay now he's like then he's seen that it wasn't working and he's like oh shit and then he opened the hood now he's looking more <sighs> let's see if we can get fixed up there he is looking at it oh now my abs light just came on i don't know what he did but got my starbies today got my starbies this morning Try turning that overfill off again. Zeke, can you get back? You're getting all muddy. That's where Mama put her boots. You're getting yourself all muddy. Do me a favor, uh, step on your brake pedal and hold it, please. You're going to get all muddy, and then you're not allowed on the bed no more. You and Benji keep coming in this mud. Get back. Benji, get in your bed. It snowed in, the, in Arkansas around like three in the morning, woke up to snow everywhere. He told me to hold my foot on the brake. <sighs> he said guys get around here in trailers, but it don't look like it. It don't look like there's enough room. He just, he just checked my fuses down there as well and he didn't replace any so zeke get up off the floor get up there up there on the seat come up you guys are driving me nuts you want to keep getting muddy you can go outside in the mud and stay out of my truck you hear me huh <laughs> so he said he's checking one more thing outside <sighs> what time is it let's see it is 9.48 right now. We're still getting looked at. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> this dude can't figure it out. He's not even going to the other side of my trailer to see if the light's working. He's staying on the left side to look at my right blinker. now dude's going back inside the shop i don't think he's literally checking everything that the guys at our shop at art already checked and that's why he was like already trying to send me on my way like he was just doing like the basics like of what anyone would do and then art did what they could without messing with the warranty of the truck uh so we brought it here and they're not he doesn't know what to do it seems like and it's going on 10. <laughs> All right, so I know I shouldn't be laughing, but he just brought a whole new set of hoses out here and connected to my trailer. And he was so confident. He was like, left, right, <laughs> and it didn't turn on. He was like, <laughs> I hope he can't hear me. Okay. Let's see what he says. Set all your brakes for me, would you? Replace your seven-way cable. It's shorting out and sparking out. Okay. Yeah. I thought I saw sparks, and I was like, I want to be sure, so that's what it is. He's saying it's the cable, but he just looked really upset about it, so I don't know. He think my shop would have tried, tried that already at the art yard.
Alright, so we made it. We're at Jerdow, Jerdow, I think I'm saying it wrong, in Fort Smith, Arkansas. This is my first time uh, delivering here, so it looks kind of fancy. They have a nice little fancy tarp station when I pulled in. Don't, don't have that at a lot of places for us flatbed drivers. So this is the this is about to be the third place I gotta check in here. I got out of my truck two times already checked in. <laughs> he said the security guy said I could go check in there, and then I went there and he's like, oh, there's an office down here where you can go check in at. I was like, okay. Yep, we got some trucks down here in line. Looks like one's got a Conestoga. That dude will be slightly faster than me. <laughs> Stop. Receiving. I think I keep going. This is a pretty big place. I don't see the weird um, material load that I got here, though. I thought this was just a steel place. Like steel bars, rebar. Receiving. Oh, shit. Damn, they stop at 2.30 here. I'm gonna stop right here. There's the receiving office. I'm gonna go check in real quick, see see what the wait's like. For your shipping and receiving hours? Um, just one second. Um, for what query, I'm sorry. Um, or any. It says Rocket Natural Stone, Clarksville, Arkansas. Okay, just one second. Okay, thank you. Um, it is 7 to 4.30 Monday through Friday. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Alright, that is the first Maverick truck right there backing up. I don't know if you can see him or not. But he finally just got unloaded. That's the first truck to get unloaded since I've been here. And I've been here for like over an hour maybe. I don't know, maybe two hours. <laughs> I'm not even sure anymore. I lost track. But I'm about to get out. This guy already took his straps off and opened his kind of stoga. So I'm going to start taking my bungees off and my straps. And then uh, I'll probably just do my tarp up there. So uh, try to get this process moving faster. Dude, this Maverick truck is the one that just got unloaded right here. I think he's about to back up all the way from where we came from in the entrance. Bro, they have a place this big and they don't have anywhere where you can freaking just go around and exit. This dude's about to back up all the way down there back to the entrance. That's crazy. It's cold as crap outside, man. <laughs> I'm, I got my hoodie and my sweats on and I'm still freaking... I'm freezing up over here. That's crazy, dude. That sucks. I wonder where he's gonna, how he's gonna turn out of here. That's the fun part about trekking, getting in and out of places. <sighs> Packing the mail's gone. Girl, I smell cologne. Just on a deal, I'm on. Yeah, yeah. I won't do it. I really want to do it. I'm a young CEO for sure. <clears throat> uh oh, this dude's pulling up. I think I'm about to. Oh, I dropped the, dropped my bungee in the mud. This dude pulled up. I think I'm about to pull up a little bit real quick. So that way I'm out of this mud. Got all this water right here. Oh shoot, dude, this Maverick driver did not know how to back up. It's a straight back, my dude. Keep going. I ain't gonna get in your way. I already see that you can't back up. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna stay over here. 
Okay, let me just keep undoing my bungees because this dude is... He's turning his wheel back and forth, back and forth. Just back up straight, dude. This dude's making me nervous. Make sure he don't hit my truck. <laughs> Taking a meal. Ooh, why is he so close? He's gonna smack my mirror, dude. Yeah, he's cl too close to my mirror. Oh my God, dude. He said, do I have plenty of room? I can't see. Why is he turning it? Turning his wheel. <laughs> oh, pull up closer. <laughs> He said, my bad, it's real tight. All right, now just go straight back. Straight, straighten your wheel. No, straight, just keep it straight. He's turning it. I keep telling, he keeps turning it. This dude's making me nervous. Oh, he's getting so close to my truck. I want to ask him if he wants me to back up for him, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, do they not train Maverick drivers? keeps doing it like a worm, like... Dude, that guy is, oh my God. That dude is, he's just turning it back and forth, bro. Oh my God. He's still struggling, I feel so bad. Well, that's what happens when you don't get training. Dude, he's just going le left and right. I wanna back up for him so freaking bad, man. He's about to have trouble getting through that other truck where the other truck is. And there's like a concrete block 
back there too. I hope he don't hit on his left side, on his driver's side. I'm like, I'm supposed to be untarping. I'm all worried about this dude. All right, I'm gonna act like I'm not looking at him, but I'm gonna make sure he's not gonna hit that. Okay, I need to start doing my job. <laughs> what's up y'all so i'm back sorry i didn't start the camera after my delivery i was trying to get to the yard and pick up my paperwork for my load um but then it turned out i pulled up to the yard went into my dispatcher's desk asked him for my paperwork and uh he's like oh i was worried about you and uh i was like okay where's my paperwork and he said that he gave it to another driver. He gave my load away to another driver. So this weekend I will be, I'm, I'm back off. I'm back sitting at home and not working. I lost my weekend run. I was a load going to Phoenix, Arizona. And now I'm just gonna be sitting at home, twiddling my thumbs. Don't get me wrong, I love some some home time, but not when I just, just had plenty of it. Um, so, I was going to work this weekend, but it looks like I'm not. I got got screwed up. I So, I went to... You guys seen I was at the shop this morning. At the art shop, they couldn't fix it. I took it to MHC. I didn't say anything to my dispatcher because I didn't feel like I, there was a need to. I, everything, the situation was under control. I made it to my delivery. I had enough time to make it to my pickup. I'm not gonna say anything to my dispatcher if there's no issue, if there's no problem, if I can see that I can make it. I even called and made sure that the cutoff wasn't 1 p.m. because it said my pick time was 1 p.m. on my rate con. Uh, so I didn't contact him. I called the where I'm picking up at. They said 4.30. 
great. I got out of there at 130, 140 from my pickup, from my delivery. Only had 60 miles to drive to my pickup, which was in Clarksville, Arkansas. <clears throat> Just had to stop, grab my BOLs because it was a blind pickup and delivery. And then he said, he guess he just assumed that I wasn't going to make it because there was no communication, which there was none needed at all. They have tracking on the truck. There was no problem. I don't know about y'all, about you guys, but my through my years of trucking, every, any, any dispatcher I've had, any dispatcher, whether it was here or when I was at Delgado, like they just sent me the load. I made sure I looked at the rate con, like, like I'm not a dummy. Like I look at the rate con, see when I have to be there, see when I have to pick up, see when I have to deliver. Like I don't need to be babysat and 24 seven and keep updating them and tell them what my position is. Like I'm, I if I have it all under control. I'm not gonna contact you and say anything. Like there was no need for me to say that I was getting my lines fixed on my truck if I was gonna make my pickup and my delivery. And then Jason or somebody told him that my truck was in the shop this morning and that's when he just went and assumed and took my load and gave it to another driver that didn't have a load here, I guess. So. This is a new one, but yeah, for now, I'll be here twiddling my thumbs. I'm sorry I was, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm upset about it. I've been upset all day. Just just went and got a steak dinner, trying to calm myself down. I had to I'd leave the leave the office because I wanted to backhand, backhand somebody up in there. But um, yeah, this is what we're doing now. This will probably be the end of my video because I'm at home now, unless y'all want to see like some gaming stuff, I might set up a gaming stream this weekend, what? <laughs> maybe on like another page, maybe not my trucking page, I don't know, but um, we'll see, this was just another update, just letting y'all know kind of what's going on with Big Rig Becca, mm -hmm. but for now I'm going to be at home twiddling my thumbs again, and see y'all on the next video, see y'all on the next journey, peace out.